Hi, I'm Jason with AlarmSystemStore.com. And one of the biggest problems we come across with our customers is that they get locked out of programming. And the Honeywell Lynx L5210 is no different. Uh, whenever you exit programming, there's an easy way to lock yourself out on accident. Uh, but if that happened to you, uh, just continue watching this video and, and I'll show you how to get back in. So let's go to the table and we'll get started. So this uh, has happened quite a few times and we've helped uh, our customers out. Uh, but I'm going to show you how if, if you accidentally do this. Exiting programming. No, of course I'm sure. I need to get it. I'm, I'm going to arm my system. And the system arms, you get back, you disarm it. And maybe you're ready to work on the system. Maybe you want to change your installer code on whatever you want to do. Maybe it's months later, you don't really remember. So you go back in. Everything looks good. But it won't go into the programming menu. You are locked out of programming. You can't get in no matter what you do. Even if you use the right code, you're stuck. Well, luckily there is a way to get into this. Uh, first thing you need to do is unplug the system from the AC. And it's still on, obviously, because it's got a backup battery. It's also giving you trouble because AC lost. So, uh, you got to open the case up. It starts beeping at you because it's angry now. You got to unplug that backup battery. All right, system's powered down. So now you need to power it back up. So plug the backup battery back in, close it up. Plug the AC back in. Hopefully AC is in a location that's easy. And then you gotta wait for the boot process. Now this next part's where it starts getting a little complicated. It's nothing too terrible, but you may want to take notes. So when it reaches this next screen, system standby, make sure you hold down the home button. And you'll hold this down until it says radio arm chime. Then you'll go to security, arm stay, and then push clear, zero, zero. It's going to take you into the installer menu, and then you hit program, and you're back in. So again, nothing too difficult. Uh, it's just got a few steps. Uh, Rewind the video, watch it again. We'll also put uh, in the description, we'll probably list out these steps for you so you can see them. And then again, when you exit, make sure uh, you don't hit no. And when it asks you, are you sure, make sure you're not sure. So don't hit yes. But if you do, one thing to remember, uh, if you realize you did it right away, just go back in. It'll allow you to do it right away. So I hope you found this video helpful uh, and you can get back into your system and get control over your alarm system again. Uh, if you have any other questions for us, of course, visit us on the website, uh, which links down below, or give us a call. Thanks, and I'll see you in the next video.